Well, we're halfway through Lent. Congratulations for making it halfway. I'm always amazed, you know, in this age of uh, technology, we can tell how many people stop, when they stop. We can tell if people watch 20 seconds of a video or all of a video. We can tell what percentage of people watch a whole video versus what percentage of people tune out of a video. We can tell how many people last seven days through the program, how many people make it halfway, how many people make it all the way. And resistance will slay a lot of people along the way. But resistance hasn't slayed you yet, and so I want to congratulate you for making it halfway. We're praying for you. Make it all the way through Lent on this great, great spiritual journey we're having together to create the best Lent ever. One of the central experiences of our faith is, is the experience of Mass, you know, and there seems to be an increasing number of people who say, well, Mass is boring, I don't get anything out of it. And certainly, you know, when I was a kid, um, I used to think the same thing. I, I, was, I was bored in Mass as a kid, you know, lots of times. We have to find a way beyond that, you know. We have to help people find a way beyond that, and please, 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 if you're in that space, don't pretend that you're not in that space. Uh, face the fact that you, you do feel bored at church, or you do feel bored sometimes at church, and, and let's find a way forward for you from that place. I, I fell in love with the Mass you know, probably when I was about 17. It's obviously a huge journey between being bored as a, at the Mass as a kid and, and falling in love with the Mass. But I fell in love with the Mass on Tuesday nights. Uh, there was a Mass every Tuesday night in our parish. And yeah, my, my spiritual mentor really challenged me to go to Mass one weekday each week. And I am, uh, I'm not a morning person at all. So in our parish, Mass was at 6.30 in the morning every morning and um, I used to have to get up to go for that uh, as, um, as an altar boy when I was a little kid but certainly when I was 17 I wasn't getting up for the 6.30 mass and so I used to go Tuesday nights they used to have mass at 7.30 and there was probably only I don't know a dozen people they had it in the big church probably held 800 people and uh, it was a very intimate experience, and in, in that intimacy, I experienced the Mass differently. But I think the big thing is I started to listen differently. I listened differently to the, the prayers. I listened differently to the homily, which is always just this one-minute homily. Our priest would give this one-minute homily. It was just like one thing to think about. It was, it was beautiful. It was powerful. And... I used to listen differently to the Mass on that Tuesday night, and I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was the intimacy, I don't know if it was the absence of all the distractions. I don't know what it was, but it was different for me, and it, it really had an enormous impact on me. Every relationship improves when we really start to listen, and that improves our relationship with God. Every relationship improves when we really start to listen. and. Very often, we, we do not listen well. We, we assume a lot of things about people, especially people we know or have known for a long time. We assume a lot of things about them, and we don't really listen. And, and of course, you can listen with your ears, but you can also listen with your heart, you can listen with your mind, you can listen with your body. And when we go to Mass... It's important that we listen with all of our senses and in all of those ways. And I think I learned that um, on Tuesday night. I got a challenge I like to give to people. I, um, I, I like to challenge people with this because I, I think it changes their lives. I think it transforms their faith experience. And I want to present that challenge for you today. And it, it's a challenge that is, is not necessarily for today. If you want to to lift it up for today, that's fantastic. But it doesn't have to be for today. And, and the challenge is this. One week in the next year, I challenge you to go to Mass every day for a week. Okay? 
one week, sometime in the next year. It can be any time you want. But the one thing you probably could do today is put it on your schedule, okay? Go to Mass every day for a week and just reflect on how you are different. Just reflect on how that affects you. Just reflect on how you see the Mass differently, experience God differently through the Mass during that week. Because there will be differences and you will find that the Mass nurtures you in new and different ways. It's a great challenge. Will it be easy? No, absolutely won't be. Convenient? Absolutely not. If you want convenience, you should stop trying to be a Christian right now. Absolutely nothing convenient about Christianity. Christianity is inconvenient because Christianity is love. And love is, it's not about self, it's not about us, it's not about what we want, it's not about those things. Love, by getting outside of ourselves, laying down our lives for other people, and that's difficult and inconvenient. And that's love and that's Christianity. But I promise you, if you make the effort, go to Mass every day for a week, your life will be different in wonderful ways.